There are three key components that your listing agent must follow in order for you to sell your next home. Um, in today's market and day and age, as you know, uh, the internet is now the key place for both buyers and sellers to search for homes and also market properties. Um, it's where a majority of your audience, especially um, those couples and, and individuals who will be getting married or, or leaving the nest finally, uh, getting full-time work and now looking to settle in. Um, this is the best way to reach out to the younger market as well. Um, both baby boomers and all the way down to your generation Y and X are now using the internet consistently. And uh, as you know, cell phones are coming into play now, iPhones, it's just where the future of real estate is heading. So number one, you need a listing agent that is going to use online marketing and social media. This is everything from Facebook pages, Twitter account to setting up a property specific page for the listing, uh, maybe even using blogging techniques, videos online, anything that can get your audience to interact, click on a link, learn more about the property, um, and build a list that way where they can actually bring in buyers to see your property. So. Uh, we're not just talking traditional marketing here anymore, putting a sign in the yard or um, sending out postcards, whatever it might be, that uh, traditional sense that you might be using. And also the uh, use of text codes for uh, text messaging. QR codes is what they're called. And with the iPhone, you can actually scan into a property and, and see the listing information, uh, videos, and other details about a home. Uh, you can put these on your signs and your classified ads or whatever you might be using, as well as online. Number two, be sure that your agent takes a lot of time to research your area, know about the current market trends, the uh, future of the area, the uh, perks of living there and um, the schools, uh, having accurate comparables. You don't want to be overpriced or underpriced on the home. And are those homes uh, very comparable to where you live? Um, same square footage, similar uh, bedrooms and baths. and. Uh, what type of updates have been done in those properties, how comparable are they really. They need to be making sure that uh, you're getting an accurate price for your home so you can get the best and top dollar for the property. Finally, you need to stage the house for showings and this is something that it needs to um, be visually appealing and, and also welcoming so that when a buyer comes in they can actually see themselves living there. Um, and see what it would be like to have their own furniture and and decorations and everything in the home. So this is something that is crucial, that you don't want to have bare walls, you don't want to have it overdone, you don't want to have pets running around either, so you need to make sure that this is something that uh, a buyer can walk into, be comfortable, take the time to gaze around and, and get a feel of what can be done with the property and uh, really just make it feel like home for them. Three steps to uh, your next listing agent, what you need to focus on, what you need to look for. I uh, hope you enjoyed this training and good luck with the uh, sale of your house.